video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make up a flower and a card using the JND 480 Ice Flower. The Ice Flower has been specifically designed to almost look like a star, but has all these beautiful cut lines in it. So it's almost like a star. It works absolutely perfectly with glitter card, satin card, mirror card. It's one of those flower dies or Christmas flower dies that's been designed to really show off some of the speciality cards that we use at that time of year. So it is a flower plate and it will give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine full sort of flowers. And then it will give you five centers as well to match. And the centers are designed to match exactly with the star spray dies, which come with this set, which is JND461. So these will match exactly with that. So I've cut a piece of card to five and three quarters by four and an eighth. And I simply need to add the flower plate on and run it through and cut that simple cut. And I'm going to bring in now the pieces that I've already got cut of this. So you will actually get three each of the different sizes. So if I bring you those pieces in, and here I've got them in gold mirror card, so you'll get three large stars or flowers. You'll get three medium, and you'll get three of the small, which are perfect to go together in to gain size, or as we're going to do them going down. And you also get the five centers. So you'll get two large centers, and you get three of the smaller centers but for this project i'm going to put those ones away i've done them into in sage green satin card and these are so easy to fold and mold together so taking the large one i'm just going to pinch it upwards and it will fold really easily with no pressure because the cut lines are in there these can also be crinkled up do exactly the same with the medium so just go around all five petals and the same with the small. For the center, I'm simply going to use the Craft Artist or Crafts 2 flower molding foam and the ball tool and simply mold the flower. So I've got that actually molded already just here. It's just a case of pressing on with your ball tool, just like that, and pressing quite hard to give it a cup shape. Okay. So gluing this together, the best thing to do is glue glaze. It will dry very quickly and it creates a brilliant bond for satin and mirror cards and glitter cards. So glue in the center, we rotate the petals and I tend to use the ball tool as it doesn't mark the card as much. Stick them together, a little bit of glue Again, in the centre, we back rotate that flower round, ball tool in, and then just pull each of those petals up around that. And you find that's already dry with the glue glaze. So beautiful, different flower and will work all year round. And so we're going to add a little bit of glue in the middle. Pick up our centre and drop that in. And as a final point, I'm going to add a white stick on pearl just into the center to give that little pop of color. There we go. So we get the perfect flower. So I wanted to make a card up that showcases these. So I've got a card blank here that I've made and I've just used the previous set of the half circle cut into white and then overlaid on some of the gold. And I've cut the JND 459 Holly Strips in the matching sort of sea green satin card. And you can see there, it gives you a beautiful impression. All of the dies on this release have really been designed specifically to work exceptionally well with glitter, satin and mirror card. So we have a left and a right. So I'm just going to take one out going to the left. I'm putting Craft Artist Super Tacky Glue on which will give these a perfect gluing and foundation i'm just going to pop one going that way i've then just got two of the star sprays just to bring this gold color out again 
And again, just a little bit of random glue on the top of there. And again, filling almost space that isn't there. A little bit on the end, then a little bit of glue. So we've got that spray going across. I'm then going to add in, let's just make sure that's stuck down. There we go. I'm going to add in my flowers and I've got three of these cut to the same size. So I'm tucking them all together. So this is using almost one full plate. And there we've got our flowers. I've got a little bit of holly that I didn't use. So I can tuck that, actually, I'm going to leave that one out. But I've also then made up the larger centers. And I've put a pearl in the center of there. So that I can just expand that little spray of flowers. And there we have a beautiful spray of flowers that really shows off the beauty of the card that we get just made using the ice flower plate. For more ideas, hints, tips and inspiration, why not visit the Crafting with John Next Door and Crafts 2 group on Facebook. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.